This video is just one in a series of videos about Adobe Express. And in this video, we're gonna look at how to create an artificial intelligence generated image in Adobe Express, and then how to remove the background and make some other basic changes. Let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Express. I just have a free account, and I'm just gonna browse down the page a ways. As you can see, there are several AI tools here. I'm gonna go to this one, text to image, and I'll click and describe what I want the AI to create. I want a mountain made entirely of yellow, red, and green M&M candies. And there are some cute bunnies sitting on the mountain. I'll click generate, and Adobe Express begins the process of creating an image for me. This image did not exist before I called it into being using AI. So that looks pretty good. If you look here at the list of results, I do have other results I could choose. So I can just click through these to see the images. I could click here to load more images and I could click through those as well. Once I've picked the image that I want to use, I can just click on it and then I can X out of the text to image panel and that takes me into the Adobe Express image editor settings. And there are several wonderful options I could choose. For example, I could click to remove the background out of my image and very quickly the background is gone. I could certainly expand the image, just click and drag on one of the corners to make the image bigger. I can also browse down the panel here at the left and I could choose some effects if I want to. I could also make some adjustments to the brightness, the highlights, and more. And if I want to, I can add some animation to this image. For now though, I'm just gonna X out of the panel. And here at the left, I can click to add additional visuals, including text, to this AI generated image. So for example, I could click on media and I could search photos. Now these are not AI images. They're just from Adobe's library of images, but I would like a meadow and I'll just select this one here. It's added to my image and I can resize it if I'd like. And then in this case, I want to put the meadow behind the bunnies and the candies. To do that, all I have to do is go here to the right and click and drag to swap the order of these two images. If you don't see these layers basically here in the upper right, it's because they've been closed, but you could go here to the upper right and look for this little icon here and click it and those layers should appear and you can drag the one that you want to be on top to the top. Let's also look at how to add text to our AI generated image. I can go here to the text button and I can choose between signs and labels, headlines, bios, social, and more. I'm gonna go with seasonal. So I can click view all to see all of the seasonal options. Here's one that could work. I'll click on it and that text is added to my image, but I can click on it and drag it and resize it if I want to, to put it where I want it to be. If I want to change the text, I certainly can. I would just double click on one of the words, tap enter in this case, and then I'll double click on the next word. And then if I want to, I can resize the text. If I need to, I can move this little icon to the side. But at this point, I am happy with my AI image that I then put a background behind and that I added some text to. Now that my image is done, I can download it to my computer just by clicking download and choosing the type of image I would like to download. I'm gonna stick with PNG and I'll click download. And this image is now being compiled and downloaded to my computer. Ideally, I would have renamed it instead of just naming it untitled. I could have gone here to the upper left and clicked and named it something that I'd like it to be named. And then I could have clicked download and it would have been named properly. I can also share this image with other people just by clicking share. I can then go here to this dropdown and change it from only invited people can access to anyone with the link can access. Then I could click to copy the link and I could email that to someone. I could post the link on a web page or wherever I want to share this image. And then people can click the link and see the image. And in this case, they'll be able to make comments. If I want people to be able to not only comment, but to help me edit this image, I can switch it to can edit, and then anyone with the link will be able to help me edit this image and make it better. Now, in addition to sharing with another person, as I've shown here, you can also invite individual people to help you edit 
or they can comment on the image. And one of the best other options you have is when you click share, if you browse down to the bottom, there's an option to publish this image to the web. This will make the image a public image that anyone that goes to the link will be able to see. Adobe basically gives you some storage in the cloud and you can just copy the link. Anyone that goes to that link will see a web page with your image embedded on the screen. So that's how we can use Adobe Express to create an AI image and then make some edits to it, download it, and then share it with others. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, I hope you'll watch the other videos in this series on Adobe Express. And please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to join me as a channel member. You could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. And before I end, I want to give a special thank you to my super techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. It's because of you that I'm able to continue to make these educational videos. Thank you.